Last week, actor Bruce Willis announced he's retiring from his acting career due to symptoms of aphasia. His family said in a statement the condition has impacted the diehard star cognitive ability. It was a shock for the world to hear the 67-year-old was having issues communicating, but it's a language disorder that at least 2 million people in the United States struggle with, according to the National Aphasia Association. So what exactly is aphasia and how do you get it? Morning anchor and health reporter Kirsten O'Connor is standing by now to ask. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. Well, aphasia isn't a term everyone is familiar with. For a lot of us, Bruce Willis's announcement may have been the very first time that you've heard of it, so we wanted to find out more from a specialist. And that's why Dr. Carlos Guillero, a neurologist with Advent Health, joins us now for Ask a Doctor. Thank you for being here. Of course, a pleasure. Thank you for having me. And so aphasia is something that is a sign of something else, right? That's how we kind of described it earlier when we were talking. Right, so it's mainly a symptom of a neurologic disease. Um, most often we see it with stroke. Mm -hmm. um, other times we see it with dementia. And it's mainly the degradation of language. And it can be partial, complete, different aspects of language, your ability to speak, or your ability to understand, and in some cases, both. And so when you heard that Bruce Willis's family made this announcement, you knew as a specialist that that could be a sign of something else, like a stroke or even dementia. Right, and so depending on why aphasia come, what the cause behind it, it really depends on the progression. So mm -hmm. strokes usually can occur, well, they begin with most severe symptoms first, and then there's some improvement. Whereas something like dementia, you'll have more slowly progressive symptoms, and they will just get worse over time. I'm sure when people come to you and you know they're already at a neurologist's office, they have experienced some sort of um, pretty obvious symptom. Um, but what are what are some signs that you think people need to look out for? Um, and, and maybe it is after some sort of a, a car accident or or something like a heart attack where you are looking out for stroke or uh, an actual injury to the brain. Right. So you know. If it's stroke, it's gonna present very quickly. You're gonna have word finding difficulties, you know, not being able to find the right word, going around, trying to call a pen, you know, that, that thing you write with, for mm -hmm. example, or not being able to understand what your family or loved one is telling you. And so those are very important signs to be looking out for, especially when it comes to stroke. Now, in, in older adults, we also have to look at those things over time. And if people are continuing to have more and more difficulty, that may be a sign that they should discuss with their primary care doctor or maybe seek further help. Now, some have said that this announcement from Bruce Willis has caused some miscommunication or misinformation about aphasia because people are worried that he's never going to get better or he's um, dealing with something that, you know, prevented him from continuing his career, but we don't really know what it is, some big mystery. Um, what would you say about treatment for aphasia? Yeah, so treatment for aphasia is usually done by speech therapists and, you know, they play a huge role with stroke. Because symptoms are worse at the beginning, you're going to have some gradual improvement, and the more therapy earlier on, the better. You know, in, whereas with dementia, you're going to have the goal is really to maximize the ability of the patient to communicate with their loved ones and really get get those messages across. So while it doesn't really improve the the outcome, it may improve how well they can communicate with their loved ones. But speech therapy is really the the mainstay of treatment. And when you hear that Bruce Willis has aphasia, it's not something, um, as far as I understand, it's not something that you can die from. It is just a symptom of another problem. Right, so aphasia, the, the main thing is a language dysfunction. And it, there's an underlying cause, whether that's stroke, dementia, or maybe you know some people can have very brief episodes with migraines as well. And so it really has to, we don't know, just because we don't know why it, why it happened. We just know it's there. Right. We don't know why it was presented. And we're learning more, of course, every day and, and what the family decides to share and does not decide to share. What would you want viewers to know if they feel like someone in their family may be dealing with aphasia? Certainly, you know, ask your primary care doctor. Be, be on the lookout for those things. Journal them. And, you know, if it's a once in a while, okay. But, you know, once in a while over time, repeatedly becomes concerning. So just make sure you ask the right questions and if there's any, if they need extra help, you know, general neurologists, other neurologists are here to help and 
we can get more testing done and look further into it. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Guerrero with Advent Health. We appreciate it. We're going to send it back to the ladies at the desk.